hello guys in last video we made this program we see saw this program but uh, but we need to check it does this program really works on the real time or not it has no error no doubt we have checked it but it should work like at exactly what we want so to check that we need to make a hex file and we need to dump that hex file into the hardware so let's make the uh, hex file over here so to do that we need to go to the target click right click over there and make option for target and then click on the output and check this box the create hex file if it is checked then no problem but if it's not then please check it and then click on ok and after that rebuild this program again so now your hex file has created and we need to dump that file into the hardware project so how are we gonna do that so this is the WL Pro software uh, the company has provided me with the programming kit so open that uh, software so you can also use the flash magic so it's showing you that uh, your programmer is not connected so we need to connect our programmer this is the programmer i've bought from the market so you you can also bought it from the mark buy it from the market so i'm going to connect this programmer to my laptop here yeah, i have connected the yeah, now you can see i can tell you about this here is the port one you can see if it if it's written p1 here is the port three these pins are for the port three these pins are for port zero these pins are for port two and these pins you can see here are pins for the LED input and these all LEDs are common cathode LEDs so we need to uh, dump our program into this so we have connected our uh, software and we'll say connect and you can see here is the online mode so our software has connected and it has detected that we are going to use the 89S52 with the ISP programmer means here we have the ISP chip so if you will off this then it will say it's a invalid chip so that's why we need to make it on so it will show you that uh, your chip is valid and now we need to load our program so uh, there there is a program so where is it I'm gonna tell you this so I have made the program keel 5 uh, this folder I have saved the LED folder if you remember and then in led folder these two folders automatically get created and in this objects my led blink dot hex file is there so i need to dump that file into this software and then i have to say auto so i clicked on auto now my program is dumping on the you can see the programming so I, it had dumped to the microcontroller now i'm going to use this uh, jumper this is the jumper i'm going to connect this pin port one to these leds so let's do it this is how i'm gonna make it so you can see the output in the LEDs it is exactly working like we wanted so first four LEDs are growing then after these four LEDs are growing so it is doing alternate work suppose you want to make all LEDs glow then you have to give the oh, FF command so I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna show you over here so just open our program and uh, suppose you wanna make make it FF now you will see the all LEDs will be glowing but before to use that we need to make it again we need to dump the hex file again so make it auto as you will see all LEDs are glowing simultaneously now if you want to make off then you have to put here 0 0 make it 0 0 you already will be off you 
you have to dump this hex file again and again remember now your all leds will get switched off so all leds are not glowing over here because we have given the zero command now suppose you want to uh, make it run like alternate wise the zigzag pattern you want to see then you can give this command these commands i have uh, told you in my hardware video series how to do that so i have given the link for that you can see you can observe the output yeah, they are in the alternate manner this is how you can play with these leds this is very fun you will enjoy this of course so if you like this video if you learned something then please like this video please subscribe my channel and uh, comment down if you have any query thank you